Twitter's new blue tick system, where essentially anyone can buy verification for $8 a month, isn't working exactly as its new owner, Elon Musk, thought it was. Now, previously, to get the mark, you actually had to be verified. You had to be who you said you were. But that's all part of the old regime. Now there are many accounts cropping up on Twitter impersonating companies and famous people without actually being who they say they are. Take this, for example. Two accounts cropped up of Tony Blair and George Bush, the former British and American leaders, making pretty crass jokes about the Iraq war. This was obviously fake. Even Twitter itself wasn't spared. A fake account cropped up on the site saying that Twitter Blue would now be available for free. Again, completely false. So what is Mr. Musk doing about all of this? Well, he said that going forward from now, all parody accounts need to have that title within their name, although it's uncertain how he'll implement this. There's also another label, official, which may be brought in to show that someone is who they say they are. However, this was actually used a few days ago before being guillotined, so there's some confusion over this, whether this will be rolled out in full. Now, parody on Twitter is nothing new, but it brings the risk of another problem, fake news. Take the example of this BBC journalist. He asks, imagine if there was a terrorist attack. In that case, meanwhile, on Twitter, a bunch of fake accounts crop up, claiming to be emergency services. They put out a lot of fake news, all with the blue tick verification. People believe them, and it spreads like wildfire. He asks the question, what happens in this scenario? And it's a very big possibility. Millions and millions of people around the world use Twitter as their principal source of news information. Parody of existing users is nothing new on the platform. But many people are worried that by giving people blue ticks, it will be hard to distinguish authentic and unauthentic sources of information. In this sort of environment, disinformation can more easily disseminate.